Hello, Richard Whitlock here. I apologise for filming in the dark, but I've been working on this all afternoon and I really wanted to uh, share it with the world. So this is my water-fed pole van that I've just finished fitting out. And my original plan was to mount the tank here. But I had a slight problem. It was a bit of a tight squeeze between here and this shelving unit and there's a few bolts on there, I don't know if you can see them but I was a bit concerned that any slight vibration at all over time they would wear through the tank um, I guess I could have put some insulation on there but as I said it was a real tight squeeze so then I got talking with Christopher Dauber, uh, Wagger and he suggested mounting the tank on the back of the van um, his son Tristan's van is kitted out that way and apparently the van handles better uh, because there's more weight on the back when the water displaces it doesn't slide around all over the place so this is how I've set it up and just freshly painted in Celtic green of course big shout out to Darren Ansborough of DA Components for supplying the flow controller um, for those of you who don't know these units very simple design, very easy to wire up and to use. They're pretty much plug and play right out of the box. Easy instructions to follow. So we've got that controlling a shore flow pump. And on the other side I have a board blank here that I could quite easily mount the same on the opposite side and run two poles. But for now I'm just running the one. I've got my Reach It pole here. Reach It Mini. Uh, 25 foot pole. Fantastic for domestic work can extend up to 50 feet so you can use it for uh, commercial work too up to sort of four or five stories fantastic so this is it a um, few things left to do for now I have the battery just tucked away here it's not shored up at all so I'll have to fix that in somehow but I just put it in there to test it out and um, probably have to bungee it in or something um, my hose reel is going to mount there and I'll probably fix these pipes in place a bit better so that they, they stay in place but just connected it up no leaks at all which is fantastic and the electrics all work and I'll demonstrate that for you now and there we have water fantastic and then we can turn the Flow right up. You can see we have water there. So it's going to be a great little system when it's all in place, and I think it'll attract the attention of some people when they see me using it. And I'm going to use the tank as a buffer tank, so it'll be filled with um, pure water from the get go that I will uh, fill up at home, and then um, as it empties during the course of the day, uh, I have my Anger Hydropower DI unit here. Um, we have quite good water here. It's about 060 uh, TDS at the at the tap, so uh, pretty good water. But I like to um, bring it down a little bit. So this is going to be filling the tank straight from the spigot of my customers' homes as I empty the pure water, which will be a fantastic system. Uh, guaranteed the same pressure, especially with the flow controller. Um, I think I'll probably continue this shelf all the way through the back of the van. Probably have some um, pull-out units here that I can store things in, like squeegee rubber and uh, microfibers and uh, other things like that. And um, that's about it. Thank you for watching the video. Um, please feel free to leave any comments and uh, ask any questions. And I'll try my best to get back to you. And just let me know what you think. And thanks once again for watching.